President Juncker, hello, how are you? Sky News again. In the house on Sky News. Excellent. Well, because Sky News is better than the BBC because the BBC is not reporting these right. well, events. Well, we won't get into that debate, sir. But can I just ask? <laughs> no, but that does of no concern to me, huh? It was just a compliment for Sky News. So uh, answer me this, if you can: What happens if Mrs. May's vote uh, to, uh, on Monday or Tuesday goes against her? Then we will have uh, a second meeting of the European Council next week. President Macron, just sir, President Macron, just said it. Do you expect to be back here next week in the event for Nova? In the event the uh, withdrawal agreement would not be approved by the House, we have to come back. President Juncker, what will you say to Theresa May tonight? Are you Theresa May? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. I now open the floor for. A few questions. Should we start right here, please? Um, hello, it's James Chris from the Daily Telegraph. Um, it's a question for both presidents, please. How long is a long extension, please? Do you have an idea? until the very end. <laughs> Gavin Lee at the BBC. A question again for both presidents. First of all, can you describe the atmosphere in the room? My understanding is that Theresa May was actually prepared and surprisingly to some, for no deal, if that becomes a scenario, almost backing away to say if it, if it is no deal, that's where it goes. And also, do you feel that there's a big risk of just kicking the can down the road now? The atmosphere was uh, much better than I expected. And, and for sure better than, for example, in December, no, not only because of the weather, but also because of the mood. And, but uh, frankly speaking, it's, uh, our mood is not the most important thing here. It's, uh, our discussion was really, really constructive, and, and uh, I can only reconfirm that uh, what I felt not only today, but also before, it's a... Uh, goodwill and determination you know, we i know that all of us are aware how objectively how difficult the situation is and the fact that we that we are still able to find a, not the final solution of course not, but but the way to 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 at least to ease the process for for both sides i think it's it was very very tangible and visible it's, uh, i'm really satisfied especially that we that we have still open so many options, and uh, um, it means that you know what is my personal view on this, and I am really satisfied, and I think it's a, a good sign because, frankly speaking, I was really sad for that our meeting, and now I am much more optimistic. Also, the stimmung was good. Und ich habe ein bisschen so alt erwartet, ein bisschen, um festzustellen, wie lange mein Geduldsfall ist. Thank you. We'll take one last question. Yes, the lady. Uh, Catherine Fjord, EU reporter. Uh, President, um, President Tusk, you said a while ago uh, that there was a special place in hell for those who promoted Brexit without a plan. Well, with withdrawal agreement is part of a plan. If uh, British MPs don't vote for it next week, do you think that special place in hell should be enlarged to include more members of uh, the House of Commons? And since May's speech last night, more than two million people have signed a petition uh, to support the revocation of Article 50. Would you welcome uh, this? Thank you. According to, to our Pope, 
the hell is still empty, you know, and uh, it means that, 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 that a lot of spaces. <laughs> I think this is the right moment to conclude the press conference. Thank you very much. Don't go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>